Hello everyone, I'm Maynard, and today I'm going to talk about and demonstrate how to create aircraft wings of differing planforms while using real-world predefined profiles. And I'm going to also demonstrate how to generate these profiles, which are unfortunately de defined by complex equations by using translated coordinate point series. While using these predefined profiles, they are most typically developed for the main lift generating bodies, more or less the wings. But some profiles, such as the NACA 6 series, which were developed to further maximize laminar flow across the airfoil and thus decrease drag, could also be used for other aircraft control surfaces, such as the vertical and horizontal tail surfaces, or even things like canards. The main point, which applies to all of my SOLIDWORKS 101 videos, is not to yammer on about things that could be researched by the initiated, but to rather show you how to fully leverage the potential of SOLIDWORKS and to give an example of a realistic model or assembly that you would find in the professional setting, and to help anyone wishing to learn and expand their skill set, and really design something truly special. So, let's begin. First, once you've decided to use or even test fit a certain profile, we need to obtain a list of coordinate points, which can be found simply by using Google, or by utilizing specialized software such as Profili, spelled P-R-O-F-I-L-I. -I. And I may post a special video on how to utilize Profili, or I might just say screw it and go to bed. Not sure yet. But, once we do have the coordinate points, we'll need to arrange them in a certain way inside of a text document, which I will show you how right now. Right, so once you have your points sourced and you place them into a text document using a program such as Notepad, you can arrange them pretty much as you found them in three columns, each representing the X, Y, and Z coordinates. And from this, SOLIDWORKS will create a curve based on these points to accurately replicate our airfoil. And the important thing to remember is that you can only have numbers in this, no text, nada. So, once you have it arranged like so, we'll go back into SOLIDWORKS. Alright, so now that we have our text document all ready, we're going to go to Insert, Curve, and we'll select Curve through X, Y, Z points. This little window will come up here, and we'll click Browse. And to make sure, we'll have to have select Text Files down here. And we're going to choose the 64A305 upper. Click open. And we can see here that we have no errors. Click OK. And we have our upper profile. Now to get the lower profile, we'll do exactly the same thing. Go to curve, XYZ point, browse and filter out to our text document and go to our 64A305 lower to complete the airfoil. We'll click open, OK, and there we have it, our complete airfoil. OK, so now that we have our profiles imported, we're going to go to our top plane and define what we want our wing to be as far as a plan form. And plan form defines, you know, whether it's a straight wing, tapered, swept, trapezoidal, all that kind of stuff. But to keep it simple, right off the bat, we're just going to create a nice and kind of straight outline of a wing. Define our cord, define our tip, and we're also going to go ahead and describe and dimension the wing's length. But once we have this, I want to get rid of these vertical relations because we really can't, you know, just on the fly change everything around. So what we'll do, we'll create a center line here, and we'll just kind of base the level of sweep and all that kind of stuff off this line. So we'll go ahead 
We'll just make that 90 degrees, sure on that. And we'll sure up that guy as well. Perfect. So now that our sketch is fully defined, we can go ahead and exit. And we'll make a sketch on the front plane. And we'll take our two profiles that we imported, convert them into sketch entities. And the one thing we'll have to do to be able to freely play with them is to get rid of these on edge relationships. So we'll delete that one and that one. And so now, as you can see, we're pretty much free to play with it wherever we want to go. So we'll snap the front to the origin and the trailing edge to that part of the sketch. And there we go. We'll exit that sketch and we're going to create another plane based off how, basically on, basically on this edge here, which is the defines the tip of our wing. So we can choose this point, this point, and the let's see, front plane. Make sure that it's parallel, which doesn't seem to like that right now. We'll get rid of that reference. Fully defined. Good enough. And we'll create a sketch on our newly created plane. Select our two curves. Again, convert them. And once again, get rid of those relationships that tie them up to the original geometry. And there we go. We can make sure that we place those two points coincident or coincident I'm not really even sure <laughs> and those points too alright so we'll exit that sketch we go to a lofted base boss and granted for a straight wing you could just simply extrude it out based on a direction or just even perpendicular to the axis which it's drawn on but to make it customizable, we're going to keep it as a lofted base boss. Now we're select our two sketches. And there we go. And we pretty much have our straight wing. Alright, so now basically once we have this basic structure set up, we can change it into pretty much anything that we really want to. But we're going to go ahead and hide some of this unnecessary geometry and these two curves can go bye bye and just kind of bask in the excellence of our wing. And our sketch 2 here is really going to define, you know, again, what the outline shape of our wing is going to be. So, in case I wanted to say make a swept wing you can say put this at about 90 plus I don't know 45 and we can do the same here about a 45 degree sweep simply just again now we have a swept wing now if we wanted to make a trapezoidal wing, such as like on the F-22 Raptor, we'll keep the 45 degree profile, or the sweep angle, and we're going to just bump this up to like 600, let's see, and we can go ahead and just make this driven, so we can have free access to this, and because this guy is driven, we can unmake that driven. 150 there. Exit our sketch. And we got a trapezoidal wing. Now, and basically, you can play around with this and make all sorts of different angles. You know, whether you want the trailing edge straight and the front edge tapered, like on the F-16. Or if you just want it highly swept and tapered, like on the MiG-19, you can do basically whatever you really want from here on out. You just take this, you know, sketch two, 
and play around with it and whatever shape that you want just draw it out in this particular sketch and that's what it's going to turn out to be so I hope you have fun and just play around and make something great thanks very much and thanks for watching